Matthew. I have two more, but I guess I'll do one first and then see. I wanted to ask you about the, there's a situation in uh, the UN system in Sudan where uh, the headquarters here has decided to pay the UN staff salary to the Bank of Khartoum in dollars, and they in turn get paid in local currency. So they've raised a lot of stink saying that they're, what they get is about half of what the UN pays in dollars to the Bank of Khartoum. They've alleged corruption. They've also threatened to strike. I wanted to know what, by what logic is the UN uh, giving if they have dollars to pay, why don't they pay their staff in dollars? And why do they let the Bank of Khartoum take half of the money that's I, meant for I'm staff? I'm not aware of the situation. I can can you guys check that out? Because Maggie. they're going to go on strike. Mr. Lee. Sure. Uh, um, yesterday I'd asked you about a use of uh, the UN press briefing room by Frank Lorenzo, now indicted. And you'd said that there's a public record of this in, through Malu media alerts. So I went back and looked at the media alert for September 8th, 2011, when he appeared in the then UN press briefing room, and there's a UN photo taken of him there promoting the South-South News, all of which appear in the indictment. So I wanted to ask you, like, how did this now, in this particular instance of an individual now indicted, subject of audits, how did that use take place? Was it a Lent use? Because it's not in the it's, public Matthew, disclosure I'm done. that you it's, it's, it is. It's a public briefing. I really, I'm, I'm done answering questions. You say about that this, this is a guy who's indicted, and so yes. how did he get in Maggie. there? Did he?